Assalamualaikum dear students. Uh, today my topic is ellipse regarding conic section. In my previous lecture, I explained parabola. Now let's begin. Conic section ellipse. As we start from the beginning, a x square plus b x y plus c y square plus b x plus e y plus f as this is quadratic equation general quadratic equation whenever we have this equation and after completing we see that we get the form x minus h square over a square plus y minus y minus k square over b square is equal to 1. If you get the equation in this form where a and c both exist, then we get the equation in this form and there is plus. If we have exactly something like that, this will represent the ellipse. Ellipse would be like like this. This is ellipse basically. In ellipse, the line, this line, which cuts this ellipse into two parts, is called major axis. And this point, halfway between this, is called center. Let's say this is center. O. Oh. And the length of this major axis is 2a. A is this one, and A is this one. And minor axis is this one. And this length is B. As I told you in the parabola that there is only one focus point. But in case of ellipse, there are two focus points, this and this. This is, as I told you, called minor axis. Major axis length is 2a and minor axis length is 2b. You can easily calculate the length of major axis and minor axis if you have converted your quadratic equation into this form where you already see the values of a square and b square. This will help you to, get, to calculate the length of major axis and minor axis. In the same way, there is line passes through the focus point and perpendicular to the major axis is called lattice rectum. In case of ellipse, you will have two lines of lattice rectums. One is this one, and the other one is this one. And same is true for line of direct line of characteristics. As you see in parabola, there is only one line of tactics, but in case of parab in case of ellipse, you will have two lines of directives. And now I can tell you how do we calculate the length of lattice rectum. The length of lattice rectum can be calculated by length of Lattice rectum is 2b square over a. And b and a you can find from this expression. Just one more thing about this eccentricity.
eccentricity for the ellipse is always less than 1 and as I told you in previous case in case of parabola the eccentricity is 1 but for this ellipse the eccentricity is less than 1 means the value of c is less than a and the value of c can be calculated by the this formula a square minus b square over a and now one thing more about this uh, which I think must be told that the distance of any point which lies on the ellipse its distance from both the sum of these the sum of the distance of, of this point from both focus points let's say this is x and this is y and this is p the distance of this point p from this focus and from the other focus distance of any point the distance the sum of the distance sorry sum of the distance of any point from fo foci is always constant and that is equal to 2a either you take any other point then let's say this is point q the distance of this q from this and from other focal point that would also be is equal to 2 now my next topic would be hyperbola and if you have any query any problem you can mention in this uh, video in the comments and you can request any uh, confusion I can also explain in the next video uh, until right now love is hopefully you have enjoyed it thanks